I ran as an independent candidate back in 2014, uh, five years ago. Uh, unfortunately, I was unsuccessful at the time. Uh, we came pretty close, but um, in the last five years, I've worked away in community groups, I've got involved in a lot of stuff, and I think that West Cork needs a strong independent voice uh, to represent to that local authority level. Um, I've been on the campaign trail for the past number of weeks. Uh, there are loads of issues out there, and I feel, look, I have the experience to, to deal with those, ex those issues out there. I'm from the Bera Peninsula. Uh, the fishing industry is a big industry back in Bera. A lot of families depend on the fishing industry and our community depends on the revenue generated in that. And I suppose the idea of the video was, you know, to highlight and make people aware of the two-tier system that we have. And that is the way our boats are treated by our government and our enforcement agency and the way foreign boats are treated. And it's totally unfair to, to see the way they're treated. So I think that video was very clear. It was just a short video. It was three or four minutes long. And it showed a lot of farm boats uh, landing, nobody interfering with them, and one Irish boat in, three fishery officers, uh, going through his entire catch. And the reason for that is we have a two-tier system. Like with all the goodwill in the world, uh, the SFBA fishery officers, if they board a foreign vessel, and they go through their, his log book and his catch, and if he has a 100 tonne of fish on board and he says he has it, then he's free to go carry on. But if one of our boats has one box of fish over his quota, he will be arrested. And the reason for that is the Spanish fleet have a fleet quota and we have a boat quota. So we don't really know what quota each of these foreign boats has. And that to me is a two-tier system and it is unfair. Uh, the decline of rural Ireland is a massive issue out there, uh, especially among our elderly, I suppose. The, the, the fear of the unknown uh, by the elderly because so many of our young people have left and have not come back to West Cork to regenerate or keep parishes going. We need young people to come back, but in order for them to come back, they need employment. They need to have money to sustain themselves and sustain families. So the cure for that is to incentivize uh, companies to come back to West Cork. So whether it's from national government uh, via tax break, or whether it's from the county council uh, where rates might be reduced or maybe no rates for a number of years to incentivize them to come back to West Cork to create sustainable employment. Our, our other big employer is farming, uh, and farming is going through probably one of the most difficult periods uh, in the history of the state. Uh, most farming is not paying, beef farming is not paying, lamb is not paying, uh, because the costs have soared and the price of the animal has gone down. I suppose the big, the big leverage there is the factories. The factories control the price with big feedlots, they keep the price down. So uh, more has to be done to address that and we got to get the farmer paid for his produce. Uh, if not, it's not going to be sustainable. I'm a small farmer myself, I understand it. It's not paying at the moment. Uh, it's a wonderful way of life. It's been a part of our tradition and culture, but it is dying out because it's not paying. Most people will be aware of it now at this stage that there's a new proposed uh, transport plan for Castletown Bear. Um, but look, it's what it started out as a transport plan. But now we're aware that there's a lot of public realm works uh, associated with it that have been superimposed into the plan. Uh, the people of Castletown and the, the, both the businesses and residents have huge concerns uh, about that plan and the design of that plan. Uh, I am the chairman of their group and look, I came on board with them a number of months back. Um, I've seen the plan, we've gone through the plan in detail and the design of the plan will have massive consequences. And I suppose, look, what the people of the town have con consistently said is you know, there is a proposed bypass. Uh, we feel that that should be built first before they do any more of that plan. There's a proposed public realm for the middle of the square, which is something similar that was done in Bantry Town a few years ago. And look, we all know what that did uh, by closing a number of small shops and uh, on, on the main street because they removed all the parking from the middle of the town. If a plan is going to have a negative impact on somebody or it's going to close somebody's door, well then it's not a good plan. So therefore we must address it and we must fix it and we must change the design of it so that it has an impact, a positive impact on everybody. So yeah, look, so I suppose on that note, I suppose on Friday the 24th of May, I, I would ask people, you know, to come out and vote. Uh, and if they would please give me their number one vote, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I'd love the opportunity to represent them at Cork County Council level. And look, I'd be grateful if they would do that.